Compared to visual surveillance and optical remote sensing, radar remote sensing offers superior utility for the detection and observation of freshwater ice cover characteristics. Let's have a look at two satellite image products that show the Mackenzie River Delta in Canada's Northwest Territories in April of 2009. The optical product combines Landsat 5 images corresponding to the red, green and blue bands of the visible spectrum. An astronaut looking out of a window in the International Space Station would observe a similar scene. Differences in spatial detail and extent aside, a person situated on the ground would also see a landscape that is dominated by white tones where snow is present and brown tones where snow is absent. As a rule, optical observations do not expose substantial variability in ice cover properties. The radar product comprises radar set images acquired in the C-band frequency and the HH, HV and VV polarizations. It can be seen to display a wide variety of tones, including in areas covered by lakes and rivers. Clearly, radar sensors are highly sensitive to freshwater ice characteristics. The sensitivity derives from the capacity of radar waves to penetrate freshwater ice and superimposed snow cover. But conditions apply and will be discussed shortly. Of course, these type of radar products are of little practical value if you do not understand how the various colors relate to ice cover structure. The key to developing this understanding is fieldwork. Like other users, freshwater ice stakeholders benefit from the capacity of radar satellites to image very large areas at a high spatial resolution. Their active mode of operation is also invaluable because poor weather and minimal daylight dominate the ice season.